Here's your wrestling news for December 19th, 2020. And your headlines for today include WWE Network reportedly furious with Raw ratings and want WWE to have adult content. Why did WWE make this horrible mistake right before TLC? The Rock announced for a special appearance on Talking Smack. Spoiler on WWE's Royal Rumble plans for Matt Riddle. Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and Adam Page together were supposed to invade the WWE. Plans revealed. Superstar Billy Graham hospitalized with significant infection. How long WWE plans to pull Lana from TLC pay-per-view. Details of why Vince McMahon yelled and screamed backstage revealed. Also calls a wrestler an idiot. EC3 reveals he was released immediately after pitching idea to Vince McMahon. What led to his release revealed? AEW's plan for Sting at Holiday Bash Special. Who is on Vince McMahon's Do Not Touch list in WWE? And more. We are starting today with Raw News, and this week's show drew the lowest viewership in company history, averaging just 1.527 million viewers on the USA Network, a 12% drop from last week's 1.737 million. Unsurprisingly, the USA Network isn't too pleased about these abysmal ratings, and Alex McCarthy of TalkSport is noting that network officials are furious and want WWE to have more adult content. McCarthy made it clear that adult content does not mean sexy, but instead more dark and violent content compared to what we currently receive. It was also noted that though there's no shortage of fans who want the Attitude Era back nearly 20 years after it ended, that Vince McMahon would not lead to this former style of programming with its risque angles. This report also revealed that the 2021 Royal Rumble is being seen as a big reset in the company, and given Fox's SmackDown has solid averages each week, thanks in part to Roman Reigns as Universal Champion, it's easy to see why USA Network is peeved. The network is expected to get $462 million in revenue from WWE in 2021. The reactions to the dismal Raw figures have been negative across the board, and such a situation could lead to drastic steps. Dave Meltzer has reported that these low figures have been a wake-up call for WWE management and that McMahon plans on shaking things up on the Raw after this Sunday's TLC event. WWE is going to be starting the road to WrestleMania 37 very soon, and hopefully they can figure something out to boost the ratings in the long term that'll hopefully be more successful than Retribution or Raw Underground. Whatever action WWE takes, Vince McMahon and the creative team have a lot of work to do if they wish to improve Raw's ratings, and not much time to do it. From Raw to SmackDown, as this week saw Bianca Belair and Bayley face off, though this match did more harm than good for both women. Though Bayley bent the rules to win, another loss for Belair continues to hurt her mystique, especially as the EST of WWE didn't look as strong as she did going into the match. When you recall that Natalya, whose career consists almost exclusively of putting over other stars, defeated Bayley not too long ago, this only hurts Belair's star power. Despite this though, the match itself was entertaining, and we can only imagine where WWE will take the former women's champion and the EST of WWE. The Rock News next as the People's Champion will be on the next Talking Smack. Set for an interview segment alongside Jay Glazer, it'll be interesting to see what the People's Champion has to say about wrestling, Hollywood, and his cousin when Talking Smack airs at 10 p.m. Eastern. We are looking ahead to this Sunday's TLC pay-per-view as United States Champion Bobby Lashley will be having the night off. There's a very special reason why Lashley isn't booked, as according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, there's plans for a Lashley vs. Riddle match for next month's Royal Rumble. The Observer noted that plans are changing every day in WWE, so it's not a guarantee that the original bro will receive a title match at the first major show of 2021. We previously reported that Vince McMahon sees Lashley as simply more of a star than others right now on Raw, but Riddle will now have until January 24th to convince the chairman that he should be the United States Champion. Whilst Riddle isn't booked for this Sunday's show, fans can expect him to be around WWE for a long time to come, especially going by this new report on his contract. According to a report by Dave Meltzer, Riddle's current deal will expire in August 2021, and WWE is planning on signing him to a new three-year deal with a guaranteed $400,000 per year plus an extra $50,000 for every show in Saudi Arabia. 
With big money on the table, it seems that Riddle will be sticking around for a long time, and we'll have to see if the King of Bros can replicate the success he's had in NXT for years to come. Hopefully Riddle can be one of the names who helps turn WWE's ratings around, and whilst AEW have become a thorn in the company's side, the All Elite promotion may have never began if WWE got their way. Speaking to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful recently, the Young Bucks said they've turned down WWE offers four or five times, with these proposals coming from Triple H himself. These offers all came in before the Bucks went public with their AEW project, and Matt Jackson spoke about when their contract talk with WWE ended, they had another scheduled meeting a few weeks later. There was also a time when the Bucks and Kenny Omega were convinced they were all WWE bound, but obviously that didn't happen. The Bucks did praise Triple H during the interview, however, saying that the NXT head is very charming and good at his job. After honing their craft in Ring of Honor New Japan and several indie promotions, it's no wonder why WWE were interested in the Bucks, though things simply weren't meant to be. One idea pitched to the Bucks would have seen the brothers Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and Adam Page invade WWE during WrestleMania 35 season, and although this would have been incredible to see for fans and surely helped WWE in their quest for ratings, the formation of AEW put a stop to this plan. We've got some concerning news regarding superstar Billy Graham as the Hall of Famer is in the hospital. On Facebook, his wife Valerie said he was hospitalized after a significant infection in his big toe, and he's also immune-suppressed due to his liver transplant and heart issues. Valerie added that due to current restrictions, she can't be with her husband at this time, and we're sending our thoughts to the Graham family at this unfortunate time. Back to the ring, as WWE has started allowing fans into the Capitol Wrestling Center for NXT and 205 Live, but there's a bit of a problem with their testing process at the facility. At the tapings before Thanksgiving, a fan tested positive, and there was another positive test on December 1st, meaning they were not allowed to be at the December 2nd tapings. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter said a concerning issue with fans is that though they must test negative before the show, they often go out to restaurants and bars after testing, meaning they could get infected in the time between the test and attending the show. Florida is still a hotspot of positive cases, with 20,400 dying in the state alone. So here's hoping WWE is able to make sure to keep fans isolated in the time between the test and the tapings. Speaking of NXT, there's another huge change in the works for the black and gold brand, as according to Wrestling Inc., NXT will be getting a second show. Triple H is reportedly leading a crack team for the new programming, which is being described as a quote, minor league system before the black and gold brand, and with the game and evolves Gabe Sapolsky working to have the show on the air in early 2021, fans may not have to wait long for more from the popular brand. Back to TLC, as like Riddle and Lashley, Lana won't be appearing this Sunday due to her being pulled from the Women's Tag Team Championship match. Originally booked to team with Asuka against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, Ringside News are reporting that the plan to pull Lana from the show has been in the works for weeks, and it seems that there was never a true plan for her to compete this Sunday. When the site asked their source why WWE built Lana up with no plans for her to be in the match, the source said, Things happen here simply because they can happen. Charlotte Flair is the current favorite to replace the Ravishing Russian in Team with Asuka at TLC, but we can't help but wonder when Lana will get another title shot, if ever again. Now it's no secret that Vince McMahon has a temper, especially if things are out of control, and one person who knows this firsthand is Sean Devari. A former WWE producer who was released on April 15th, Devari spoke on the Two Man Power Trip podcast recently about the boss's temper, though added that shouting and screaming are just the chairman's ways of communication. Devari gave the example that McMahon might yell and scream at some, and before the segment's over, he's already yelling and screaming at the next person, and has already forgotten about the first incident. The former producer added that he never bore the brunt of the boss's anger during production meetings, though he did get shouted at when he was a superstar, and we certainly wouldn't want to cross the boss in WWE. Davari was just one of many names cut from the company this past April, and despite WWE's explanation of budget cuts stemming from the current situation, EC3 has a different version of events. Speaking on The Chris Van Vliet Show, the former 24-7 champion said that he was fired mere hours after pitching a new character, saying, Around WrestleMania time, I was coming back from a pretty serious concussion that cost me about five or six months. 
That really changed my life and really made me think about this character. I pitched this idea. I'm a decent writer. I was typing it up, this real great thing, and I included a promo with it. I sent it in on a Wednesday, and two hours later, I got fired. It wasn't all bad news for the one percenter, however, as he noted, I'm fired. The first thing I thought was, oh, I'm actually okay with this, it's fine, don't worry about it, I'll be okay. Then I just posted the same promo to the world on YouTube. The only thing I didn't want was people to think I sat around and did nothing. Following his exit, EC3 has worked for both Impact and ROH, and though his idea seems similar to Raw Underground, which WWE would use shortly after his release, EC3 seems fine with being out of WWE. Vice News Next as more episodes have been confirmed for Dark Side of the Ring Season 3. In addition to episodes on Jake Roberts' family and Brian Pillman, PW Insider are reporting that a Nick Gage episode is in the works, as the indie scene favorite is a convicted bank robber but has served his time and returned to wrestling. Atsushi Onido's FMW promotion could also be a focus for an episode, and we're confident that Season 3 will be as interesting and informative as the first two seasons of Vice's hit docuseries. For AEW now, and if you don't want to be spoiled for the holiday bash, we suggest skipping the next 30 seconds. Thanks to the work of Redditor Space Force One, we know that Sting will have another interview with Tony Schiavone, which will include a reference to Dusty Rhodes and a Dusty promo by The Stinger. This feel-good moment will be interrupted by Team Taz, though when the stable prepare to attack, the lights will go out and Sting will have backup. It wasn't noted who Sting's backup will be, though we expect Cody Rhodes and Darby Allin to be involved, as the company seems to be setting up a six-man tag match for the icon down the line. Back to SmackDown and Roman Reigns, Jey Uso have worked well together since Jimmy Uso was taken out of action, in a rare instance of WWE using a tag team wrestler whilst their partner is injured. When Pro Saban Max spoke to Jay about his brother, the associate of the Tribal Chief said that fans can expect Jimmy back between January and February, and that his brother is watching what he's doing each week on SmackDown. Jay added that he's looking forward to getting back on the road with his brother, and although we don't know when, if ever, WWE superstars will be on the road again, we are interested to see what the company has planned for Jimmy, Jay, and Roman Reigns when the three are able to be in the ring together once more. And we're ending today with more news from Vince McMahon, and with rumors that the boss is ready to make changes, possibly as soon as next week's Raw, we may know what the boss has planned. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter is noting that the boss wants more monsters on his programming, especially after the disappearance of Lars Sullivan from TV. And this may explain why he sent many big guys to the Performance Center for further training. Although the chairman may want more big guys, one person fans won't see get physical is Jerry Lawler, and he's one of many names on a specially protected list that the chairman has made. Being described as a no-touch list, Arn Anderson explained on his podcast that Lawler isn't to be touched after he suffered his 2012 cardiac arrest, whilst JBL can't be touched or take bumps either because he came back from injury to do commentary. Though Anderson didn't say it, it's likely that Paige is also on this list, even though there's a chance she'll pass a doctor's physical after so much recovery time, but the chairman isn't going to take chances with those pre-existing conditions.